Hello everyone, uh, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team and today I'm going to talk about a new feature Operational Insights for Cloud Application Integration which is uh, a monitoring capability on top of Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services uh, for monitoring the cloud application integration assets coming as part of Spring 2020 release. With this feature you would be able to monitor cloud application integration assets this would be available as part of operational insights where you will have a separate page for cloud application integration assets monitoring and it will offer several charts to help you quickly and visually assess the status and usage of CI assets and at the same time view analytics related to the API calls processes connections and licensing there is one prerequisite uh, for this feature uh, you must have the application integration license and being able to view the application integration matrix so with that, let's move on to the demo. Let us log on to Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services platform. To assess this new monitoring capability, you should choose Operational Insights, which is a service meant for monitoring various kind of assets on Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services platform. You see multiple tabs here. The home page gives you information about the overall infrastructure summary um, in terms of monitoring. Uh, you also see a tab for data integration and you also see a new tab for application integration. So let's click on that. You would notice that there are multiple tabs here. One is overview and processes and usage. Let's talk about these one by one. On the overview page, you see multiple panels. The first panel is for activity. The activity panel displays the total number of completed and faulted processes in your organization in the last 24 hours. It also shows the percentage increase or decrease in the number of completed and faulted processes since the last period. You can use the activity panel to assess whether the fault trend is moving upward or downward. Let's look at the second panel, Process Run by Environment. The process run by environment panel displays the total number of processes run in your organization for all runtime environments. By default, the panel displays information for last 24 hours, but you can choose a different time limit, uh, either last 7 days or last 30 days. You can use the process run by environment panel to assess whether there is a need to perform load balancing across runtime environments. The incoming API calls panel displays the number of hourly incoming API calls for the last 24 hours. By default, the panel displays information for the top 5 processes with the most incoming API calls. But you can choose others as well. You can use the incoming API call panel to gauge incoming traffic and identify peak and off-peak hours. At the same time to identify the optimal time to perform system maintenance. The overall API response time panel displays the overall API response time in milliseconds for all the processes and for all runtime environment in your organization. An increasing overall API response time indicates integrated performance. It can also mean that these APIs use complex integrations and might have degraded third-party connectivity. Let's look at response time outliers. The response time outliers panel displays the top 5 processes in your organization whose API response time is higher than the average API response time in the selected time period. And the choice for this could be made here. By default, the panel displays information for the last 7 days. Processes whose API response time is higher than the average API response time could have complex integrations. A comparison of the values against the average API response time in the last period helps operator assess how the processes have been performing since the last time period. The top 10 running processes panel displays the top 10 processes in your organization with the most runs. By default, the panel displays information for last 24 hours. You can use the top 10 running processes panel to identify the most important processes in the organization that might need better optimization than the other processes. The panel also displays the average number of processes run in the last period compared to the current which gives a trend indication for operators. That completes our overview page so let's move on to processes page. On the processes page you see two filters you can make a time based selection either last 24 hours or 7 days, 30 days or 3 months or you can choose the environments. You can either choose all the environments, cloud only, all agents or any specific agent here. 
what you see here are three different reports which are available for all these processes either you can look at all the processes in your organization you can also notice that uh, it gives you process name the number of execution the runtime environment average execution time in millisecond for last 24 hours but again you can make a choice here to get the information for the last seven days you would notice that once you made a choice from 24 hours to seven days you get a longer list because you have more processes running for the last seven days than 24 hours you can also choose different reports for example completed processes this gives you an indication of how many processes have completed successfully and what are their average execution time and the runtime environment but more importantly you want to look at the faulted processes the number of executions that have failed uh, and probably you can take corrective action based upon the failures here let's move on to the usage tab within the usage tab you have multiple tabs like APIs and processes and connections and licensing uh, you would also notice that you can look at a monthly based data so you can choose based upon month if you're looking for getting report for the month of April versus March or February you can do that so this gives you a more fine-grained way of uh, monitoring your uh, system let's look at different tabs here if I choose the data for April 2020 let's look at the first panel daily and cumulative incoming API calls this panel displays the number of daily and cumulative incoming API calls by default it displays information for the current month and all runtime environment you can use the daily and cumulative incoming API calls panel to assess whether there is a surge or dip in the incoming API calls and accordingly plan for peak traffic the incoming API call blood process it displays the number of daily incoming API calls for selected process or process category by default the panel displays information for the current month and the top five processes with the most incoming API calls but you can make a choice here next is incoming API calls by runtime environment where you can again make a choice based upon top five runtime environments you can choose the environment that you are looking to monitor this panel displays the number of daily incoming API calls for selected runtime environment or runtime in environment category by default the panel displays information for the current month and the top five runtime environment with the most incoming API calls you can use this panel to assess the load on different runtime environment and probably perform load balancing or increase the security and capacity let's move on to the processes tab the first panel daily and cumulative process runs displays the number of daily and cumulative process and sub process runs by default it displays it for current month and all runtime environment you may want to use this panel to assess whether there's a surge or dip in the number of process and sub process runs and accordingly plan for peak traffic process and distribution panel displays the number of daily processes and sub process run for a selected process or process category uh, and by default displays information for current month and the top five process with the most runs uh, you may want to use the process run distribution panel to find out the most important processes that might need better optimization than the other processes process runs by runtime environment this panel displays the number of daily process and sub process runs for a selected runtime environment or a category of these environments by default it displays for the current month and the top five runtime environment with the most process runs you can use this panel to assess the load on different runtime environment and perform load balancing or increase the security and capacity let's move on to connections tab now the first panel which is daily and cumulative connection calls displays the number of daily and cumulative connection calls for the month as displayed here and for all environment you can use the daily and cumulative connection calls panel to gain insights into connection usage connection call by endpoints this panel displays the number of daily connection calls for a selected endpoint or endpoint category as you would notice there are different categories highlighted here you can use the connection calls by endpoint panel to find out the most commonly used connection endpoints next is connection calls by type of connection this displays the number of daily connection calls for a selected connection type you can use the connection calls by type of connection panel to find out the most commonly used connection types it helps you assess whether there are more connections calls made to on-premise systems or cloud-based systems 
connection calls by runtime environment panel displays the number of daily connection calls for a selected runtime environment or a category you can use the connection calls by runtime environment panel to assess the load on different runtime environments and decide whether load balancing is required now let's move on to the last tab here called licensing on the top panel you see the usage statistics this helps you assess whether the total number of API transactions for all the runtime environments in your organization falls within or exceeds the maximum API transactions count defined in administrator for your application integration license if the total number of API transaction exceeds the defined maximum API transaction count the chart indicates a difference as a percentage value daily and cumulative incoming API calls a trend line panel displays the number of daily and cumulative incoming API calls for selected runtime environment or runtime environment category it helps you compare the total number of API calls against the maximum API transactions count defined in administrative app integration license by default the panel displays information for the current month and all runtime environments that concludes our demonstration on um, operational insights for cloud app integration assets for more resources you may want to reach out to the online help for operational insights for cloud app integration you can also look around for a lot of resources on in cloud app integration community uh, which is a collaborative user platform to share and seek information quickly you can ask the questions on the community and the experts can look at those questions and answer and you can search for relevant content be it a video content or documents samples kbs and how to thanks for watching this video goodbye